Good evening. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals and ConcierbeBullion.com in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. I've got the uh, live Miami coral cam up. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I'm not quite sure what kind of coral. Is that staghorn coral? I'm not sure what it is, but uh, take a look at that. I think those are sergeant majors. I mean, man, it must be mating season for sergeant majors because there's absolutely got to be, what, thousands in that little area right there. <laughs> so cool. And again, this is the uh, live Miami cam for you South Florida folks and for you folks that live outside Florida that love our beautiful oceans down here. Well, let's get into uh, prices today. Give me a short video tonight. Not a lot to talk about. Just kind of the same sideways action we've been seeing for the last week or so. I'm going to talk about spot prices first. Didn't even have a quote of the night. You know why? Again, quick show tonight for you folks. And uh, here's the uh, closing prices, 67195 1966 and $900, staying just a little bit above that $900 mark. And yes, platinum did drop below $900 here for a short intraday period or, 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 or during the uh, day at some period here. I guess that's a, a better uh, way to say it. Uh, 893.90, uh, but not too far off from that $900 mark. But across the board, some softness there. Same with silver. I suspect, um, boy, if platinum is uh, being a tell on other prices and foretelling what price of gold and silver is going to do, maybe we're down for some more lower prices tomorrow or upcoming Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and all that does is provide us a great opportunity to buy these metals super cheap. They're on sale. It's a fire sale for gold, silver, and platinum, folks. And uh, platinum has been unloved for quite some time, but gold and silver are in that unloved mode as well. <clears throat> as far as the general populace and as far as the, uh, all the money managed traders out there that participate in these crooked markets, uh, it's not in, you know, again, lower prices right now. Uh, great opportunity to buy, as I said. What else is going on out there? Dollar index. Well, hold on. Let me take a look at the ranges on gold here real quick. 1656 to 1685. That's quite a wide range for gold. So kind of seesawing in between there. Uh, a little bit of war going on with the price of gold out there. I believe that, uh, uh, you know, in fact, yesterday's video was the, uh, um, is there a war on gold? And uh, yeah, there is. I really believe there is. There has been for a long time, but I think it's more, more there's a concentrated effort to knock the price down might knock the price of gold down uh, uh, substantially for more than a few reasons, uh, not uh, excluding the fact that uh, Russia and China um, own large amounts of gold, and right now they are the enemy, I believe, uh, as far as enemies goes. And enemies are always great before midterms elections and also before presidential elections. Um, so what a great time to uh, take people's mind off of uh, uh, <laughs> of particular things and uh, anyways not going to go there right now uh, otherwise this video is just going to get sidetracked again uh, uh, 1928 1988 that's not out of uh, silver's 50 cent move range that we've seen 50 cents a uh, dollar silver can make some pretty erratic moves and again most of it is a result of just crooked <laughs> a crooked marketplace and a broken uh, uh, price discovery made in a broken marketplace which we call the Crimex and uh, Globex markets on silver. Uh, but again, it provides a great opportunity to buy these metal cheap, uh, metals cheap. What's down today as well as uh, gold and silver? Well, certainly not the dollar index, up to a 111.25. And again, folks, not to be confused, when you hear that the dollar is up, uh, uh, up 0.55% uh, uh, today, previous close was 110. And uh, of course, a lot of algorithms and a lot of traders um, that buy and sell equities, bonds, and everything, use the dollar index uh, as part of their equations on where their investments are going or, or where they may not go. Uh, but the idea uh, with the general public out there is that when the dollar index is, is uh, strong, when the dollar is strong, when, when most people, most people hear that in uh, CNBC or Bloomberg or they hear it uh, from their friends or on their news, yes, the dollar is stronger right now as a result of Powell. Folks, remember uh, and remind all your friends and the people that mistaken uh, a strong dollar with buying more shit that it's not true. A strong dollar does not buy more shit unless you're traveling to Canada or unless you're traveling to uh, uh, Europe or unless you're traveling to other foreign countries, Japan particularly. Uh, if you're doing some traveling, then yeah, uh, it, it's, it's a good deal for you. But really, 
uh, a strong dollar does not mean that uh, you're going to be living better and that overall your life is going to be better because really the truth of the matter is is uh, it doesn't buy more and you want proof of that again I brought this how many times have I shown you guys this <laughs> uh, stupid graph consumer price index for purchasing power of the consumer dollar in the US average city folks this is from 1913 when the Fed was created all through FDR's gold confiscation where you can see actually it backed up the dollar gold confiscation by FDR helped pump up the value of the dollar pretty good until it was a downward spiral from there until we get into uh, Nixon right there where's Nixon right there boom little bump there a little bump there and uh, whoop de doo is on the way downhill <laughs> uh, but uh, <clears throat> uh, you know a strong dollar as would be indicated by this right here and the chart that you see here and you know let's take a look at the the uh, all chart uh, there's your all chart for the US come on change mr. chart there you go uh, doesn't seem to be working there you go all chart uh, a stronger dollar does not indicate that uh, you're you're buying more goods with it a stronger dollar is simply a dollar compared to the other fiat turds out there and again I sound like a broken record if you've been listening to me talking about the other fiat turds for years now uh, so let's move into that most of you know that already and for you folks that don't uh, yeah, a, de a stronger dollar does not mean that you buy more shit with it. It just means a stronger dollar against the other turds in the uh, fiat basket. And where do we go from here? What else is up? The inflation, the cost of living is up. And then most particularly and worst of all, it's up for the working class. The poor are, uh, you know, they deal, you know, how, once you are poor, how much poorer can you get? And that's probably a bad question to ask because I guess there's different levels of poor as well. But uh, uh, particularly the middle class. Uh, where this hits the hardest right here. Inflation costing average American family 11500 per year. Uh, this is by uh, Epoch Times, say as you will of them. Uh, Americans are set to fork out $11,500 this year if they want to enjoy the same standard of living they maintained in 2020, according to new estimates from Nerd Wallet. I have not fact-checked this, but it sounds about right, folks. From my you know, macro view and my guess on what I'm spending and what it looked like in 2020, I'm pretty good at that stuff. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, that's probably about on average, right? Uh, as of uh, at August, inflation in the United States stands at 8.3%, according to data from the BLS. In all of 2020, American households spent 61300 on average, according to analysts. This includes everything we spend our money on, including uh, food, entertainment, clothing, transportation, and everything else. In 2020, it stands to reach $72,900, a difference of more than 11500 folks. And again, this hurts the middle class and the upper middle and in the lower middle it actually and it hurts everybody really too the poor uh the, the poor poor like i said i mean you know the nice thing about the poor is that they do have government you know they got uh food that they can get but i believe that their checks the government checks buy less and less as well you know the uh, uh assistance given to the poor um it is not increased that significantly however the price they have to pay for food does increase uh, significantly so this does hurt the poor as well uh, inflation does but what is inflation inflation is not a bunch of greedy uh, 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 chicken sellers and bread sellers and uh, uh, sellers of uh, whatever these liquids and beverages are and these frozen foods that's they, they Inflation is not a result of them just saying, hey, listen, let's just charge people more. That's the kind of bullshit you hear from ignorant socialists, ignorant Marxists, ignorant communists, ignorant people that just Democrat socialists that just don't understand how, how an economy works. The uh, 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 inflation is caused by the decline in the value of the money that you're using. And that's what fiat turds, that's what we talk about, fiat, fiat currency. There's no fiat currency that has survived longer than the U.S. dollar except probably for the sterling pound. At, at some point, uh, but uh, no fiat dollar has been surviving longer than the U.S. without being devalued or changed or whatever uh, may be, and uh, and that's a problem. You keep printing more and more of something. You know the supply and demand thing. When you have demand for a certain amount of product, um, and you have a low supply, that creates the product to go up in value. And when you have too much product and not enough people wanting it, that means the product value goes products go down in value well the same thing with the US dollar when you print too many dollars and you got more dollars than people really need or want um, and I know that sounds funny uh, you decrease the value of that dollar and you increase well anyway you got my point there uh, so inflation uh, rising as well and a lot of people are saying well you know why hasn't the price of gold and silver uh, gone up based on this uh, inflation that we've seen it certainly hasn't done what we expected 
Well, the, the, fa the fact of the matter is, folks, and I guess the uh, crypto people are finding this out too, is that uh, their market is as rigged as it's ever been. And, uh, <laughs> you know, once BlackRock and all these big major corporations and corporate commercial banks and, and speculators and uh, billionaires got into the uh, crypto markets, uh, that's when the small guys were fucked pretty much, you know. But uh, here, here at Northair, I digress. Uh, uh, gold's the same way, silver's the same way. Uh, the uh, uh, price of gold and silver has been so manipulated in the Crimex Comex markets and the London bullion market and, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, again, so manipulated silver, absolutely the worst. Silver probably, if you were going to pick the uh, worst criminal market uh, of all the uh, uh, commodities in uh, the, the Comex Crimex market, silver would probably be at the top of the list for the most crooked fucking market out there, okay? All right, said the F word already. Have a drink on me. In fact, I'm going to have a sip right here. So, hmm. What does that got to do with inflation? Well, what it's got to do with inflation is that the reason that gold and silver aren't performing to our inflation expectations is because the gold and silver markets are so screwed as far as price discovery. Not the product itself, but because of price discovery. And what does that got to do with cryptos being uh, manipulated heavily too? Well, if you had to own crypto, or you had to own gold and silver, which you physically own in your pocket, which do you want to lay your monies out for? Something you can't see, something you may not really own, uh, <laughs> but supposedly has a limited quantity out there, and it may numerically. Uh, or would you rather own a 5,000-year-old product that's been uh, money for 5,000 years? You're never going to wake up and hear it went bankrupt. People covet gold and silver. They have forever. Platinum as well. Well, I know the answer to that, so let's move along here to what the best deals are. That's something I do the best is best deals. I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to plug myself here first, okay? I'm a uh, precious metal and rare coin dealer, also paper money, since 1977 when I started working for my father part-time uh, for his store in Boca Raton. I've been in this location in Lauderdale-by-the-Sea since 1995. Again, second-generation dealer in uh, rare coins and precious metals. i got to tell you one thing, too. The, uh, precious metals, you don't need to be a genius to deal in precious metals. There's a lot of people out there that, that look at precious metal dealers or precious metal uh, 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 gurus and talking heads like, oh, oh, oh. you know, <laughs> it, 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 trust me, uh, you could come work for me. I've turned my staff and the people that work into me to uh, uh, precious metal experts as well. And when it comes to physical, dealing in physical in the wholesale and, and retail markets. Uh, so you don't have to be a genius to do that, and it's one thing I do way better than most of the talking heads out there is tell you what the best deals are, um, and I talk as much as they do. <laughs> so, what are the best deals out there? Well, let's get into that. We'll go to DuckDuckGo. Best deals. God darn, I, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing this, but are gold bars. And what type of gold bars? I'm going to get into images here. One ounce gold bars. Now, of course, you can buy large gold bars, kilos. Uh, uh, 10 ounce gold bars, that kind of deal for less, but liquidity is a little tougher. For a smaller investor, for guys that are buying smaller amounts, stick with the one ounce bars, trust me on this, uh, for a couple good reasons. The only good reason to buy 1,000 ounce, I mean 1,000 ounce, uh, 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 10 ounce bars and 1,000 gram, gram bars and that kind of kilo gold bars, the only good reason to do that is if you have, you're buying so much gold that you know, you've already got a couple hundred ounces and one ounces in case you want to break it small increments and sell little pieces at a time to get a little capital or a little money. Uh, and you've, you're, you've got millions and millions of dollars invested in gold. Uh, the kilo bars are actually a good deal. Uh, for the smaller investors out there that are, that are probably going to spend less than a few million dollars uh, or less than a million dollars or so in gold, um, I'd recommend just sticking with the one ounce rounds. I'm, I mean, you could lower that figure a little bit. I mean, the one ounce uh, gold bars. Uh, but n gold bars are the best deal out there. And as you know, I advertise to be at Max SD, JM Bullion, and the big boy out there uh, who I respect uh, uh, a lot, and I respect all those companies a lot, uh, which is uh, Miles Franklin. Uh, so if you're looking for small quantities, really small quantities, even to large quantities, uh, check out my little uh, uh, ending here, and I'll tell you how to how to reach us. Uh, as far as gold coins go, let me go back here. Uh, gold uh, eagles. Let's say gold eagles, and watch gold eagles are gonna picture of a gold. <laughs> gold America. Uh, Ameri no, that's a bad thing. It's a one ounce. Let's type in one ounce gold eagles. I I should have known I'd pop up. Uh, gold eagles, folks, 155 and over. I think uh, Krugerrands are spot plus 90 or, and over, and uh, uh, 
uh, <clears throat> um, Britannia's are probably near about there, give or take a couple bucks. But by far, gold bars are still the best deal out there. And uh, I, you know, I'm all about. I think you can buy a gold bar plus. Uh, let's see, about uh, seventy, about thirty, about another thirty. Gosh, you could buy, you could buy a gold bar and two ounces of silver, three ounces of generic silver, probably uh, thereabouts, or more of generic silver, a gold bar and three ounces of generic silver for the same price you can buy a gold eagle. So tell me which is a better deal. Wouldn't you rather walk it out of your local store with a gold eagle and, I mean, a, a, a gold bar and three ounces of silver or something along that lines? I'm sorry, I just pulled that out of my head. It might be more or less. Uh, but with extra silver for the same price you'd pay for a gold eagle, I think so. Um, as far as the other products too, again, I'm cheap like that. And when it comes to your money, I'm cheap as well. And uh, the, the thing with us here, the, I've kind of uh, got a beautiful thing going on here in my store, and it encourages my employee, too, to point customers to uh, lesser premium stuff, which is we, I have a fixed rate that we make per ounce on all this product. You know, I make the same amount of money uh, per ounce on Eagles as I do gold bars, so there's no advantage for us to push you into gold bars uh, for a higher price. I mean, gold Eagles for a higher price when gold bars are going to suit you just as well. And uh, where are we going to go from here? I'm going to talk about silver real quick. Same thing, but silver is more interesting, folks. Premiums on silver are, they suck. Uh, and availability of uh, 100 ounce, but what I'm surprised to see is there's, there is an issue with availability on 100 ounce bars out there. I suspect 1,000 ounce bars are getting sucked up as well. I think there's some big whales out there that are sucking up the larger size bars from 100 ounce. Uh, and even, uh, well, I'm going to say at least 100 ounce and larger because I've never seen a shortage of 100 ounce bars. Even through 2020, 2019 and other times, 100 ounce bars were always pretty readily available. But right now, there seems to be a little bit of tightness in the 100 ounce bar market out there. And uh, that just kind of indicates to me that there's some big whales out there buying larger quantities. Remember, whales, if they're smart... They're not out there buying gold American eagles. They're not out there buying 90% or silver eagles. They're out there buying large bars. And I think there's some other whales out there buying large bars right now. Uh, that's just my opinion. I'm sticking with it. What, uh, uh, what's the best deals out there? Well, 100-ounce bars, if we can still locate them. I think I've got some right now, RCMs and some other bars. Uh, again, I'll be at Max, uh, JM Bullion, SD Bullion, and Miles Franklin on their prices on bars. Gold bars, silver bars, you name it, we'll beat their prices. Uh, and again, I respect those companies a lot, but I'm a very competitive guy. And uh, what else? What else do we got going on here? Uh, let's see here, silver bars, uh, silver, let's talk about uh, what not to buy, which is uh, silver eagles, folks. Silver eagles are absolutely still freaking stupid. I think we looked at uh, SD Bullion, and they're a spot like 17 bucks or 16 bucks. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, tell me in the comments section. But uh, SD is usually the cheapest on Silver Eagles out there out of the 800-pound gorillas. Again, uh, SD Bullion, JM Bullion, At uh, Max, and Miles Franklin. Uh, SD, I mean, usually has the cheapest prices. I don't know about Miles Franklin. They do a whole different. Uh, they don't show anything on their website, but. Um, they're, they're one of the big guys out there that sells large quantities. They were out there selling. They're part of that big uh, $50 million deal. So you got to include them on the big boys, but I'll still beat their prices. <laughs> so um, Silver American Eagles, uh, not a great deal, folks. And in fact, I've been telling you, smart thing to do, and a lot of my customers have been doing this. I guess people are finally listening to me about this, is trade your Silver Eagles in, whether it's me or whether with your local dealer or someone that will cut you a good deal. Trade your Silver Eagles in for the ridiculous high premiums you're going to get for them right now and put more silver in your pocket by buying generics, tens, kilos, or hundreds if you have enough Silver Eagles. Uh, it's a great freaking trade that puts more silver in your pocket instead of a, uh, the same amount of silver that, you know, instead of a smaller amount of silver at a higher premium. And at some point, that premium is going to disappear again, folks. And what do you end up with? You end up with a Silver Eagle at a lower premium, closer to the price of the silver bar, uh, and lost opportunity. So I think that you should definitely trade your Silver Eagles in for uh, 100 ounce bars, uh, kilo bars, tens and ones. Uh, you'll put more silver in your pocket again. So Silver Eagles, not a good deal. Love the product, love Silver Eagles. Trust me, it's American. Love to tell you by American. I'm a very uh, patriotic, constitutional kind of guy. Uh, but the price is just out of whack, folks. It has been for quite some time. Uh, silver Maple Leaves, I think the price is lower on them, but still quite high. 
And as I said, I can beat Atmex JM, SD Bullion, and uh, Miles Franklin, and the other big guys out there as well. So definitely check with me. I've been doing this a long time. And this market's so easy to make money, even if it's not a lot of money. It's like dealing in cash. I know that sounds weird, and that's nothing suspicious. <laughs> All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to move into uh, yesterday's video, which is they declared war on gold. You know my opinion about this, that I believe there's a, a war on gold right now. Um, the short positions, the big commercial shorts that have typically uh, shorted silver, and they're not right now. And Ted Butler makes a great case that we probably could be in a takeoff point for silver uh, because the commercials have lowered their uh, uh, positions, their short positions, dramatically on a huge scale. Uh, they're, in fact, maybe they're all just set up for higher price silver, so that's what they're waiting for. But you know what they've done recently? These big commercial banks instead of uh, not shorting silver and getting out of those big silver short positions they they heavily piled into gold you know all right so what does that mean i don't know what does that mean to me it kind of means i've been saying for quite some time is that where the price of gold goes silver will follow on a ratio basis and many other basis as well uh, so by dropping the price of gold, I think that's just an effort to keep the price of silver down so they can cover their positions. Very conspiratorial on my part, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, anyway, I'm going to talk about a few. Uh, I could go off on that for a while. Uh, let's talk about uh, some of the uh, uh, comments in the comment section from last night's video. They declared war on gold. Close your eyes if you get dizzy. I'm going to take a sip of this uh, wine here. It is the evening report. And by the way, cheers to all you folks out there that stack gold and silver uh, and all the viewers and commenters out there. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well. Give me one second here. Hmm. Cheers, friends. Um, I'm going to close your eyes. Uh, it even gets me dizzy. Uh, Zane, you are firsty McFirsty, first the first. <laughs> Uh, you too, Matthew. Um, uh, Brian Stone, yeah, there are some big storms off the coast at the moment. We could have, you know, folks, something we haven't talked about too is uh, uh, look at those big storms that we've got brewing. I, we've been lucky here in Florida. You know, I did a video on being prepared, whether it's gold, you know, being prepared for an economic storm or for hurricanes like we need to here in South Florida. And uh, uh, we've got uh, some big storms, uh, not necessarily looking up the uh, eastern coast of Florida, but potentially got another one down there that could be heading for the Gulf. And what does that mean? Well, knock out some oil refiners or knock out the ability to uh, uh, produce oil and uh, put out oil, especially coming into the winter months. Mm, this could be weird, man. Uh, and what does that got to do with the price of gold and silver? Well, probably good for price of gold and silver as well. Just adding to the troubles of the criminals and the Carimex and the L LBMA markets, uh, uh, woes of keeping these markets down. Uh, which I think they're having a harder and harder time to do. Uh, thanks for commenting, Brian. appreciate that. Uh, Fiat turds, yuck. Absolutely. <laughs> My wall with some bleach. That's pretty funny. Uh, but nothing showing. Four kinds of nothing showing. Uh, let's read some more. What's up? Well, Co, you be well as well. I think Gold Spike could be from an upgraded war in Ukraine from a Russia. You know, I don't know. I don't think that gold and silver is reacting to anything. Uh, uh, logical. I think gold and silver are completely rigged frickin' markets that are way too low and artificially just like on a seesaw uh, based on stupid artificial contracts, artificial derivatives, artificial gold and silver. Well, that's my opinion at least. So, uh, meanwhile, when, why those markets so fucking rigged and so, you know, so cheap, you know, keep stacking the real stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and let them play their paper games until they explode in their faces, and that's what's going to happen, especially with silver. Uh, but again, I think kind of maybe that the uh, uh, with the big commercials out of silver, like Ted Butler says, that uh, they found a new game to play, which is keep the price of gold down, which in turn, where gold goes, silver follows. I said, we'll keep the price of gold or silver down as well temporarily until they can fill these positions. Again, conspiratorial on my part. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, Gary says, I can't, not of the laws when you control the money. Rothschilds did say that. I am more fear of a central bank than a standing army. Absolutely, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, if I had to pick all my founding fathers, probably one of my, my top two. <laughs> top one, maybe, even. I had to think about the second one here. Uh, I bet if you listen really hard, you can hear the war drums on the pier. Yes, you can hear the war drums here on the weekends. Uh, trust me. <laughs> the partiers, but I, you know, something I mentioned the other night, it's just quiet out there, folks, just quiet. 
Um, I, some of you have noticed that as well, how quiet it is. In here in Florida, I mean, I'm good. I, I have a good macro picture of things. I have a good memory for certain things. And uh, I just don't remember it being this quiet ever this time of year. We had a lot of European tourists here. The beaches are literally quiet. Let me show you real quick how quiet the beaches are. Let's just look at the uh, wind jammer um, and watch this. It's summer, it's beautiful. Uh, and again, it's hot. It's not our peak season of the year, but look how quiet it is out there. And this is a Thursday night. How many people you see? A couple folks walking. Folks, there's something scary going out there in the economy. Tourists are not really showing up in Florida, and our economy is better than many of the other states out there. I can assure you of that. But it's even slowing down here. But let me move out of there and go into uh, uh, yesterday's uh, questions. I'm going to see if I can answer some of you. Uh, people by 160. Yes, Moody James, what's up? I like that name. I think you a new poster. Uh, if you're not, forgive me for not remembering, but thanks for commenting. Uh, G brought back commie 20 can be bars take advantage of the dip you go man you you buy those dips you understand what the bargain this stuff is this is dollar gasoline this is two dollar filet mignon folks uh, hanging out in St. Augustine uh, I, I love I love St. Augustine what a beautiful little area that is and the surfing is pretty damn good better than it is in Broward that's for sure uh, always thank you anonymous Andy appreciate that as well what's up Michael cool central banks should pay attention to gold why aren't they or are they the truth uh, can't argue with that at all sir and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day Claudia Mark uh, Monk says where is that beach yeah we're in Lauderdale by the sea that uh, cam that I just showed you right here uh, is uh, Lauderdale by the sea and that's the Windjammer resort that has their camera on their little hotel motel facing the pier wow it's beautiful out there look at the blues I got to say one thing, nobody does blue and green like we do in South Florida. Well, maybe, maybe other people do, but I, oh, sorry about that. Uh, it is just absolutely gorgeous out there. Uh, thanks for commenting, Cloudy or Mark. Uh, strong man, stacking physical is not for weak hands, requires patience, yep, perseverance. Uh, remember, folks, it's for wealth, not an investment. Damn, uh, you sound like I said that. <laughs> Thank you. We're on the same page there. Strong man, have a great day. Silver liner, what's up? Oil went negative in 2020. Uh, yeah, you said good point yesterday about paper, silver went negative, oil went negative in 2020 and I couldn't find one gas station to pay me more to take it off their hands. Speaking of that, isn't the dollar tied to petroleum? Uh, and, and you know, uh, Ted Butler is the one that actually, in the email I sent to him, he reminded me that, uh, um, was it the email or am I just imagining that or was it possibly his newsletter? But either way, he reminded me or us uh, that uh, uh, if you take a look at how crooked the COMEX markets are, remember when oil hit the uh, negative zero mark. And how much oil could you buy at that price? Nothing. So folks, if you think the price of silver and gold are realistic prices in the LBMA markets and the uh, COMEX markets, you're wrong. They're completely fictitious markets made up by paper derivatives, derivatives and a bunch of uh, uh, con people. All right, That's just my opinion. I'm sticking with it, but it's the opinion of people way smarter than me as well. Uh, what's my three favorite silver coin round designs? I love the Mexican Libertads and Lady Justice made by Scottsdale Mint as far as stacking rounds and buffaloes. What's my three favorite silver coin round designs? All right, this is kind of like a stacker question. <laughs> and uh, let me think about this. I know what one of them is. I know some of you are going to laugh here, but hang on a second. Hmm. Elemental. Elemental made this bar that had one side of it had the 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 uh, atom of silver the silver at or the element of silver with the its neutrons and uh, protons uh, or pro <laughs> protons it had had the element on one side you know what you know what it looks like when we visualize what the elements look like uh, that was one of my favorite bars uh, and elemental is a company that I dealt with. They used to be Ohio Precious Metals. I told a story about them one time. I was one of the people involved with that deal, Elemental, and it's uh, uh, when it went down, I was uh, uh, posed to lose a lot of money. Can't talk about it right now, but uh, long story short, that's one of my favorite bars. I think Elemental bars are pretty cool, and a few of them are going to be rare down the road as far as the uh, rounds and bars. Um, what else? What else is my favorite uh, round design as far as uh, uh, generics go? I gotta admit, I like the buffalo designs. There was a few designs of buffaloes that were hands and uh, hands above all the others. Uh, so a few of the buffalo designs I like as well. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. There's so many different designs out there that that if you show me some of them, I'd say, oh, that's super cool, you know. 
so there's a lot of different designs out there that I like. There's, that's the beauty of uh, uh, um, uh, silver one ounce rounds and all the different generic manufacturers is that you've got all these w w eye candy. You, it, as long as you're not paying too much of a premium for it, you can get yourself all kinds of cool stuff like that. Uh, thanks, CR Chief. Good question. Appreciate that. Um, uh, Lee Fur, he says, uh, I can't increase in my TI. I got almost 200K. I know I've crashed on the room, but I feel uncomfortable buying two. I'm 73, no happy VA, medical, very healthy. I actually uh, fear living in the. I know what you're talking about, man. How long are we going to live for? How much money do you need to not end up living in a shack, you know, by, you know, by at the end of your years? And, and just, well, you know, who wants to end the rest of your, their life miserable? So I can't argue with that, Lee Fury, at all. I, don't, I wish I could tell you the answer to that. Um, but it sounds like you're really on top of the ball as far as uh, um, what you think is best for you. I mean, look, just what you're saying right here, you have planned far better than probably 98% of the public out there. And that's probably not too far from the truth. Uh, thanks for commenting, Lee Fury. I appreciate it, uh, Fury. Uh, Bradley, what's up, dude? Uh, glad you came here to hear about the monkey hammering. It's the same old shit, different day. Uh, Gene Tipton says, truth above fear and ignorance. Craig shot in here in FYI. Canadian who just returned from a road trip to California to visit a relative. I won't be making a return trip anytime soon. Historically, things were less expensive stateside, but even turned out, yep. Uh, again, dollar index, what does that mean? Simply the comparison to other turds out there like the Canadian dollar as well. Uh, so uh, anyways, yeah, you're right. So maybe Canada is not the, the best deal right now for Americans as well. Uh, maybe the Euro is <laughs> any place in Europe uh, because they certainly uh, screwed themselves. Uh, thanks for commenting, Craig. Appreciate it. Tree Climber, what's up? Uh, September is a great time to travel. Uh, divide my video into subtitles. Man, I don't even know what a subtitle is, dude. Uh, thanks, Eisen, man. I appreciate that. Above my head, and I agree with you, gold stocks are probably a good buy. I wish I knew more about them. Uh, and you're right, not a financial advice. You know, we're, the nice thing about YouTube and a lot of these channels is a, it's a place to share different opinions and not get the mainstream narrative or the corporate uh, narrative. Uh, sharing is nice. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt Samushi says, why are gold and silver pay markets in the first place should be never been allowed? You've got to be some place for price discovery, you know? Um, and it can't, you know, the price discovery can't be made on retail physical sales in, uh, in shops. It has to be made somewhere. So. Uh, for years and years and decades, we've trusted the CME group to run a, uh, an honest marketplace, an honest casino, but we have found out, and many knew long ago, that they have not been. The same with the LBMA group, same with the LME, and all these crooked casinos. Uh, thanks for commenting, Matt, Matt, Matt Samusi. John, um, yeah, I saw that. Monkey Hammer, the price on behalf of WEF. That's kind of interesting. Um, you may not be far off from there. You know, there's big money out there. Uh, uh, betting against all of us here. Uh, I'm done sitting tight for the award. And quite, oh my gosh, hang on. All right, sorry about that. Here we go. Got to remove that one. Another one of those uh, crypto things. Wharton Fissel, what's up? All real fun. Absolutely, I always believe that. Uh, swim in Tampa Bay right after watching Jaws with the sweet lady. <laughs> only, only I thought Bruce would really make me sing soprano. Yeah, it must have been cold that time of year. Uh, nope, I'm still here 40 years later. Hey, Wilton, thank you, and we all do laugh. I got a good sense of humor. Chris Dutcher, what's up? Um, we do come from a common sense generation. I believe that 100%. Uh, we're not prejudiced against anyone, regardless of race, color, creed, or only prejudice is of assholes. You're right, assholes come in all shapes, forms, colors, and religions. Uh, here's a quote you may like before you diagnose yourself with depression or low self-esteem. First, make sure that you are not, in fact, surrounded by assholes. Dude, right on. Absolutely true. Uh, thanks, Chris. Michael Matthews, what's up? Pumpkin King says, usually long book. Now I have Snowbird's book for winter months. No one has booked. Pumpkin King, who is on the ground, boots on the ground, soldier, uh, a business person that deals with tourists and snowbirds is telling you this right there themselves, folks. And again, look at the, uh, look at this. Six o'clock. It's beautiful weather, and look how many people are on the beach, including even the locals. Locals are not even going out. There's something strange happening out there, folks. Um, oh, boy, that's not updating. Let me see if I can get an updated picture. But look, it's, it's just quiet. Um, uh, no tourists, no locals. And in Florida, man, we are in one of the busiest states in the Union. Uh, looks like it's not going to pull up for me, so I'm not even going to bother. But hey. <sighs> 
Thanks for watching, man. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Here's our lovely brick and mortar store right here. We're open 10 to 4 Mondays through Fridays. Whether you're dealing in small quantities, large quantities, I'm the guy to see in South Florida. I'll beat the locals. I'll beat Atmex, SDJ, and Bullion, and, and the biggies out there like uh, Miles Franklin. Uh, and if you uh, don't live in South Florida and you can't come and visit our store, uh, come, uh, you know, if you're buying more than come, if you're buying more than 100 ounces of gold, more than 2,500 ounces of silver, uh, give us a call at concierbullion.com. Uh, it's a new business that I've set up to deal with people looking for larger quantities all in the continental U.S. Uh, we're going to deal in wires and also safe methods of transportation. So uh, old school kind of uh, way of doing business, but I will beat the prices of all the big boys out there and uh, let me know what you're looking for. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. You have yourself a wonderful evening, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, what's up, Wall Street Silver guys? It's <laughs> I'll try to post my videos more consistently out there, but uh, lots of love to you as well, and uh, her especially. <laughs> That's it, folks. Have a good evening. Talk to you later. Bye.